Why, why is that place marked? Uh, the work is still coming. That area? Yes, Chief. Go and get me the notebook and you know, use it, put it down. Dad? That is quite impressive. <laughs> it looks <laughs> as big as that of <laughs> the one in Abuja. Well, I purposely kept it a secret from you and your mother, making you people think that uh, it was just uh, two blocks of duplexes. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. So when are you going to start letting them out? Um, I'll let you decide that. Me? Why? It's, it's always been between you and the lawyers. Yeah. How old are you, then? Of course, Dad, you know how old I am. <laughs> I just want you to say it. Well, 36. I was 22 when I married your mother. You were born when I was 24. I knew it. I knew there was certainly where you were going to. I knew you were going to mention this issue of marriage. Why are you afraid of marriage? Why? Is it money? David, I am worth billions, and they are all yours just for the asking. God, what? You, you never ever cease to amaze me. Financial consideration is, is, is out of the question, totally. Oh, good. I thought what I had was, was not enough for you to marry her. Dad, I will get married when the time comes. When? When? David, I am not getting any younger. I want to see my grandchildren before my time here on earth is up. Dad, you certainly will. When? That is the question. When? Okay, Dad, can we just drop this issue, please? Remember we told Mom that we won't be long. Okay? Let's go. Are you done? What are you doing? Manager! Look, tell the site engineer that I want to see him, man. And then bring that note to my house this evening. And um, the soup, did you put it in the white container? Yes, the one with the flowers? Yes. All right. I hope you did not add uh, too much pepper. Mm. And what about the wine? Yeah. Properly chilled. Yeah. It's an estate. 
You mean you knew? Of you? course I knew. What do you expect? Now let me tell you something. Things usually hidden during the day are normally revealed in the bedroom. When you get married, you will understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Message from her mom. Yes, How are you? Fine, you are Dama Isuchuku's daughter. Yes, sir. You are the one studying uh, business management at the University of Nigeria. Eh? I am, sir. Oh, what a replica of uh, your mother you are. Oh, very beautiful. Thank you. Sir. Oh, Ada, please join us for lunch, okay? Thank you, ma. I'm not that hungry. I eat her. What? Your first visit to my house since you got into the university and you are rejecting an invitation from me? Of course not, sir. I don't hear you. Okay, Ada, I insist you join us, okay? Now, just sit down. Come on, come on, let's eat, let's eat. Oh, by the way, you've not met my son David, have you? David, good afternoon. Oh, yes, good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, darling, let's eat. The food is getting cold. Uh, let us give thanks to God. Thank you, Father Almighty and ever living God, for this food. Bless and sanctify it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Honey, what would you like to eat? You know my usual. Oh, Pound <laughs> Can I have your food? Can you put some chicken for him? Yes, ma'am. And I think I'll just have a piece of chicken and some stew. That's okay. Yes, David, what are you eating? What? I don't, I don't know. Can you serve him some rice, please? No, no. I would have to do it for Come on. Yeah, chicken. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, I just came to get us some materials for my food there. Oh, that makes you 
in the family. Yes. Thank God. It's finally come to an end at last. It's very stressful. Congratulations in advance. Thank you. I think you like that. Really? Yes. What I want to hear is, Father, I love her and I like to marry her. Honestly, I don't think we have to wait that long. All we have to do is impress it upon him that we like her and we want him to marry her. Let's not rush it. Let's not. To God be the glory. Oh. <laughs> so, what school did you graduate from? Unfortunately, I didn't train here. I trained in the United States. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which school? Oh, Harvard Business School. Harvard Business School. Nice school. I've heard a lot about that school. Oh, really? Uh -huh. That's nice. <laughs> so, so, what do you do now? Oh, what? Family business. Mm -hmm. Yes. The family is into manufacturing. Mm -hmm. well, we manufacture some soaps, cosmetics. And, um, and we're also into real estate business. We're into billions now. Mm. Mm, yes. So you see a lot of traveling in the world. Interesting. Yes. <laughs> wow. What do you mean you don't like her? That I don't have to like her. She's a nice person, no doubt. But I, I, I will not be stupided into marrying, marrying her simply because She's the daughter of a family friend. No, Dad. But you just said she's a nice girl. If she's a nice girl, why don't you marry that? Mom, I am going to find myself a wife. You and Dad must not set me up with blind dates. No. You totally missed the point. She is in her final year. In fact, she's doing her final program. She read business management. And with a woman with that kind of background, you, you, you need someone to help you run my empire when you totally take over. Mm. Huh? Dad. I love you. And you know that. I am willing to do anything to please you. But I am not going to marry a woman simply because you consider her strategically important to whatever. Lord, I don't understand you, David. I honestly don't. Eh? What is it that you want in a woman that you have never seen? Mom, it is between me and the woman I will marry. David, you are my only son. If you love me as you claim, then you will not deny me the joy and satisfaction of seeing my own grandchildren. Dad, be rest assured, I will not deny you of that. But please, let us not misunderstand ourselves over this issue. I will come when it will come. If you don't mind, excuse me.
Chief, you have to do something about this. You are taking it too easy with David. What haven't Joy and I done? What is remaining is to drag David to church and force him to get married at gunpoint. Well, if that's the only alternative, you have to do it. Remember, he's not getting any younger. I tell him that every day. He is a year older than my son, Ikenna, who already has two kids. You see? We have introduced some decent girls from respectable families to David. But he prefers to jump from bed to bed with one sort of girl or the other. Huh? And that's what bothers me. Each time you see him, he is either with this girl or the other. I wish one of those girls would get pregnant for him. No, Chief. That's not proper. Huh? For your status and position in the society, he needs to go through the normal process of marriage. You know, engagement, traditional wedding, and finally the church wedding, just like he can did. You were there now. Honestly, Gabriel, I don't care. Provided he, he accepts that the baby is his own and that he is willing to marry the mother. Look, I want to see and carry my own grandchildren just like you. What exactly is the problem? Or oh, is he not capable to... Ah, he's certainly capable. R remember what happened some five years ago? When two girls claimed that they were pregnant for him in the same month. All he did was to ask them to abort the babies. If only I had known. If only I had known in time. What do we do now? I don't know. I don't know, Cameron. If you have any solution, I am all here. She should be going for her youth service. Eh? But um, that depends on a lot of things. <laughs> you know what I mean. Hey, come to think of it, you know she can serve in the company. Yes, she can. Um, eh? but... That way, you people will get to know each other better. Mm, yes, mommy, that's no problem. Let you her, know, let's go. She's a, she's a pretty girl, eh? How? Beautiful girl, look at her. See now, David, what do you think? Mommy, mommy, it's let such her... a beautiful smile. Mommy, let her call me. Eh? <laughs> You have to come and see us next week. Okay, I will. Promise me. I promise. You must come and I see promise. us. Yes, yeah? I will. Ma. Okay, I okay. Take care of yourself, eh? Amaka, take care of Linda for me, eh? Okay. Okay. Uh, same here. Bye bye, Ma. Bye. Bye bye.
Out! I don't understand you. Do you want to remain single for life? No, don't get me wrong. That is just the way I am going to remain single for life. I just have not seen the right girl. Oh, God, I've been hearing that for the past eight years or more. Look, I don't understand you. Huh? <laughs> Let me just tell you something. Your father and I are becoming quite embarrassed attending other people's weddings. What do you mean by that, Mom? Other brides and grooms are much younger than yourself and less fortunate. I don't understand why you don't want to make us happy. Mom, come on. Come on, Mom. It's not as if I don't want to make you people happy. You know, your happiness is my utmost desire. Okay? But never mind, okay? Very soon. I promise you, I'll make you and dad happy, okay? You've been saying that all this while. Please, let me run along. I'm already late for a tennis game. Why not? Is that so? <laughs> That's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, by the way, how are your wife and uh, your daughter? They're fine. They're still in London. I just got back three weeks ago. That's good. That's good. Um, Wilson, I sent for you because you are my son's best friend. You are a married man. Don't you sometimes advise your friend to settle down and raise a family of his own? Yes, I do. We, we discuss that all the time. And what are his responses? Nothing specific. He easily gets bored with girls and he doesn't like long-term relationships. Gosh, he can't go on like that. What is his problem? I really don't know. This is a, a part of David that confuses me. Although there's this particular girl he talks about sometimes. Particular girl? Who is she? Where is she? Who are her parents? Her name is Kate. She resides in London. I don't know much about her parents. She broke up with David a few years back. But I think David still misses her a lot because he talks about her sometimes. Look, Wilson, I want to meet this girl. Sir, like I said before, she's in London and I don't have her address. Look. I want you to trace her for me. I'll try. I'll do that. But it might not be easy. I don't care what it takes. I'm willing to assist you with money. Just trace her for me, Wilson. Okay. I'll do. Uh, by the way, how is your business? Our well, business is fine. We're doing great. Why don't you look for her, David? Why are you letting your, emotion, your, your pride rule your emotions? What are you talking about, Wilson? What exactly are you talking about? She was the one who left and never bothered to call. Do you want me to kill myself? You were the one that took her for granted. She loved you, but you broke her heart. It wasn't intentional. I was drunk the very day I slept with her friend. You know that. Is it the first one? Or the second, or even the third. Look, David, you hurt her badly. What the hell are you talking about? All right? Yes, I did. But I apologized. I apologized, but she wouldn't listen to me. Besides, it's been three years now. I'm sure she should be married with kids by now. What if she's still single? Who's single? Kate, single? A beautiful girl like Kate, single, in a place like London. 
Come on, Wilson, where is your brain? Why, how possibly could you think that would be? I am just asking, what would you do if she's still single? I would marry her. I swear to God, with my body and soul. But that's if I can find her. But most importantly, she's willing to forgive me. All right? Who is that? Yes, what is it? Sir, there's a man here who wants to see you. He says his name is Alhaji Mohammed. Oh, tell him to wait, please. But sir, you have an appointment with him for 4 o'clock. I said tell him to wait! Hey, hey, hey. That is my secretary, okay? No, oh, I, I don't mean anything. I'm not going to believe this. Believe what? I called my wife and some friends in London to help Treskate. Uh -huh. So? Guess what I found out? That she's married with children? No, 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 man. You're wrong. Kate is still single. Are you sure about what you're saying? Yes. And better still, she came into the country three weeks ago. Dave, you have to see her. Wilson, are you sure that will be necessary? If you really want her back, you have to do whatever that is necessary. Please, try and see her. My friend here told me about it and I decided to stop by and see her. Okay. Hi, madam. You're welcome. Thank you. I see. It's been a long time we last heard from you. Yes. Actually, um, Kate and I had a little problem before she left. I tried apologizing to her, but she wouldn't listen to me. Is she in? Yes, yeah, she's in. Please, I'd like to see her. At least we've jumped the first order. Relax. Everything's gonna be fine, okay? When she comes in now, whatever she says, no matter how angry she is, you have to agree with her, okay? Oh. 
Hi, Kate. Excuse me. Quiet. How nice to see you again. I think you two need to manage it alone. Excuse me. Oh, okay. How are you? And how did you know I'm back? What are you doing here? Well, kids, you see, there are things I know that you don't know. Really? Sit down. Thank you. Like what? Actually, Kate, ever since you left, life has never been the same for me. I hoped and prayed that I find you someday, and that when I do, that you forgive me. Twice I was in London. I searched for you everywhere, but never got lucky. Why were you searching for me? Cheats and hypocrites like you, David, are not supposed to find true happiness. For Christ's sake, you slept with two of my best friends. I know. But you never gave me the chance to say I was sorry. What are you doing here? Look, I have forgotten everything about you, okay? Please go. I know how you feel. You see, but I never realized how precious you were to me until you left. And I haven't gotten to love another. Kate, you mean so much to me. Please, find it in your heart to forgive me. Look, David, I'm sorry if I have to disappoint you right now, okay? I'm not interested in you anymore. Please. Kate. Kate, please. I am sorry. I really am. Please give me another chance, please. I promise you. I'll make it up to you. Please, Kate. It would never happen again. Please. Okay, I promise you. disappointed you and I have no excuse whatsoever for my actions but please I am sorry but like I promised I'll make it up to you okay thank you You don't expect I still trust you, do you? After what you did to me. Do you realize how much you hurt me? Do you? I know that I hurt you. But I never realized that my life evolves around you until you left. It's not been the same. It's been empty. And that was when it dawned on me that we were my future. And I want to build my future around you. David, I am not your future, okay? So that I love you. 
I love you so much that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want to build my future with you. So that will you marry me? Will you marry me? Please. Marry me. What is it? What do I do? Follow your heart desire, my dear. Hmm? David hurt me so bad. I know, I know. I don't want to make another mistake. He may have changed. Do you still like him? Do you still feel something for David? Yes, I do, but... Kate, I... follow your heart desire. Huh? Just do what is right. Huh? Come, my dear, come, come. Just take it easy. Huh? Everything will be all right. Just take it easy. Huh? Thank you, Aunt. Well, Mom, Dad, I've met Kate. Kate? The one that lives in London? Huh? How did you know that? Oh, Wilson told me. Oh, so this is Kate. Yes, and this is Kate. She's back now. Good. She's the girl of my choice. Um, the girl I want to marry. Bye. Hey! Today is a great day. Hey, huh? Come on. Come <laughs> on, Come on. You have set my mind at rest. You have brought us the happiness we so desire. Come, my son. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And when is the wedding date? Oh, come on, Mom. Don't be in a hurry. What, what, what are we waiting for? Huh? Look, it takes time to plan for a wedding. You have to book the hall. You have to discuss with the priest to get the date. You have to do Mom. the uh, wedding Mom. shopping. Mom. Do the wedding. All that will come. All right? Let's take it one at a time. You know what? I think we should go and talk about it. Okay. <laughs> So you finally found Kate. Well, I'm sure you like her. She's beautiful. I told you, I told you I'm going to take you. As you are now living with our daughter, may our ancestors guide you. May the Almighty bless you. And may this union be a blessing. To the most family, Jesus. as well as the Ozokes family, Jesus. may we hear the cry of many children, Jesus. and may this union bring forth lawyers <laughs> and doctors <laughs> and engineers <laughs> and even presidents. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Kate, you have brought us so much joy. How did you get this? <laughs> My son, how was the course? Oh, it really was quite refreshing. <laughs> I hope you had a nice time to rest. Yes, I did. All I did was sleep, eat, and sleep again. Very good. Did he take care of you? Yes, he did. <laughs> Come here, my daughter. Look, you see this all this compound and every other thing I own. They all belong to you and this child. <laughs> <laughs> if your husband does anything that you do not like. Come here and report to us. And we will show him where to sit. Exactly. <laughs> Your children will play around this compound. Amen. And when I join my ancestors, this my grandson will see me off with a 21 gun salute. <laughs> yes, he will, oh, but not so soon. Oh. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> so how are you sure it's a boy? My spirit tells me that it is a boy. <laughs> Uh, uh, come, 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 let's go inside. Come, oh, come no, in. not yet. Though. Hey, fam. Wait. We have That's to do something here. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. It's our tradition. This is my first grandson. And his coming home has to be a memorable one. So please, do me the honors and step on. Yes. I'll walk into the house. Mommy, I can't step on you. Mm -mm. If you try it, go buy me a new
don't have to do this. Alright? We have enough men in the house. You don't! Honey, I'm bored. If your parents don't allow me to lift a finger, they don't allow me to do anything. The problem is too much and I have to do something. Oh. <laughs> your parents are wonderful people and me, they treat like a goddess. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, mm. you are a goddess to them, alright? Just wait until you put to bed, okay? That's when you know the kind of people they are. <laughs> Let me quickly get something upstairs, okay? I'll okay. join you, right? Eh? All right. seen anything yet. Just come inside. Oh, come on, Dad. You never ever cease to surprise me. Can you say that? It's beautiful. Just come in.
phone this place as if a person is coming to live here. And the person who's coming to live here is like a president to me. And who who's that? I, um. You can't be serious. You can't be serious. You don't know how happy it makes me to see the two of you. Happy together in marriage. Wow. Oh. But this is getting too much. <laughs> eh? The cars, the houses, trips abroad. And when is all this going to stop? Look, David. The child your wife is carrying is like a crown to me. A crown of happiness. And my being alive. To see this new development, you getting married, a baby on the way, it's like a crown of fulfillment to me. Huh? Thank you very much, Dad. Thank you, Thank Dad. Thank you very much. Uh, um, sit down. David, I am thinking of uh, retiring in a month's time. I'm leaving you in charge of all my business in its entirety. I know you are ready for that. Very well ready, Dad. Good, good, good. Um, I will leave both of you to enjoy your new place. I will send the driver back for you. Hmm? So I got thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you very much, my daughter. Thank you. I'll walk you to the car.
is it? What is it, Chief? Chief, what is it? What is the matter, Chief? It's just a miscarriage, okay? These things sometimes happen. Stop crying, baby. Just wipe away those tears, please. And I injure my arm or my leg. Why, my baby? Why, mommy? Why, my baby? Why, mommy? Why, mommy? I, I can't stand the pain she's going through. I, I just can't stand it. I'm walking around alone. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright, Kate. All right, Kate. And you, Joy, you too. Huh? If you don't stop, how can she stop? Huh? It's alright, madam. Oh. It's alright. Please remember the patient needs some time to rest. Okay. Please don't be long. Alright. My sympathy. I'm so sorry. Excuse me. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. and it takes when it pleases him. You see, I had wanted to see you because uh, there has been further complications. The force of the impact from the fall created excessive trauma on her pelvic region. What exactly do you mean, uh, Dr. Martin? Apart from losing the pregnancy, we discovered during the evacuation of the fetus that uh, her uterus suffered severe trauma. In other words, her womb was badly ruptured. No. No. No, doctor. What this means is that her chances of getting pregnant again are almost zero. She may never have children again. Good. Dr. Martin, do you realize the implication of what you just said? I'm sorry, Mr. Ezeke. There is nothing more we can do. The results, we are conclusive. Does she know about this? No, but she has to be told. I'll tell her myself. I do not want anybody else to know about this. Not even my parents. I'll tell them myself. That's all right. Um, once again, I'm sorry. You may now see her. Let's go.
so hot. Something I must tell you. What? What is What? like this ever since we got back. How long will you continue to punish yourself? Your parents looked forward to seeing their grandchild with so much expectation. Honey, I just denied them what would have been their greatest joy. But it wasn't your fault. It was my fault. No, it was my fault. Because I shouldn't have allowed you to do any housework. There's still a chance. We can go and see another doctor. Wait. Remember what the doctor said. He is wrong. There is nothing wrong with my womb. I am fine. And I refuse to accept that I can never bear children. I just had a miscarriage and that is it, okay? My womb is okay. I'm fine. Everything is fine. how you feel okay hmm? I do understand how you feel but you see Dr. Martins is the best cause I need a I second can't. opinion let us try another doctor please I know I can still get pregnant I, I'm fine okay for me please I thank you Is that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. <laughs> what do you mean, doctor? Mom, well, it's says, okay, from the test and scan that we have here, the result proves conclusively that your scar tissue resulting from a uterine rupture will prevent you from getting pregnant. about what you're saying? Eh? Are there no other procedures? What about the IVF? For an in vitro fertilization to work, there has to be a viable uterus. And I'm sorry, madam, yours is not viable. You mean 
I mean, nothing can be done about it. Apart from the divine miracle, I'm really sorry, nothing can be done about it. Medically speaking, nothing can be done about it. We do. And listen, this is just a miscarriage. It's not the end of the world. Mommy, that's exactly what I've been telling her. And you know what, Kate? I know you're going to give us loads and loads of children. Okay? Okay. Now put a smile on that face. Come on, smile for me. That's my girl. That's my girl. Eh? Okay. Come on, come on. Uh, we're okay, okay. Mm. Ah. You know what? I can come next week. I'm bringing you your masala soup. Eh? Lots of fresh fish. I know you like that. <laughs> okay, David. Mm. Ah. Sorts of conclusion. Listen, kids. We have to face the facts. What facts? They mean what? What? Listen, let us stop fooling ourselves. You and I cannot have children naturally. That is a fact. No, no, no. No, no. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> something lately. Do you know we can actually adopt a child? Yes, we can. We can do what? I mean, it's legal. People do it everywhere. We can adopt a child legally. Even your parents will not accept any adopted child that is not yours. Leave that to me. I have everything planned. Out. No, David. Let me go. Okay, I am of no use for you here any longer. You have to marry someone else. Someone that will pay you a child. No, Kate! Kate, I said no! It is totally unacceptable to me. And I don't want to ever hear you say that again. Never! David, we have to face reality. You, you just said here that we, we have to 
face the fact, okay? You cannot change my situation. Nobody can. David, I have no womb. I don't have any womb. I don't have anything. I am useless to this marriage. I am. Okay. I, I can't bear children. I can't. I can't. I can't. Business is there. All right? Now, when we get to Port Harcourt, I will find somebody, precisely a girl, pay her to get pregnant, and then call my father to tell him that you've gotten pregnant again. Yes. You mean. You're going to sleep with another woman, get her pregnant, and reclaim the baby. That's exactly what we're going to do, okay? Look, it's, it's between both of us, alright? Nobody will know about it. David! How can you ever suggest such a despicable thing to me? Oh, look, there's no other alternative. There is! Where is someone else? Hey, hey, Kate. I have warned you never to mention such a thing in my house again. Never! Besides, you will not find such a girl that will agree to an arrangement like that. Honey, that is where you are wrong. That is not true. Now listen, this arrangement can be made. Right? All you need to do is agree. Honey, it will work. Just agree. And you know why you have to agree, sweetheart? Because I am not prepared to take any other person but you as a wife. Honey, listen, listen to me, please. Listen to me. Hmm? Your happiness is what matters to me. Please, it's going to work, I promise you. It's not so easy. I know it's hard for me to I know it's going to work. 
Why? Just leave, leave everything to me. I will handle it. Just go to the police. A fish, pepper soup, and everything. Make sure you use it. I really wish I could come with you people. No, come on. Don't, don't burn, okay? We'll all be in touch, okay? Are you sure? To be honest, I hate to see both of you out of my sight. Oh. Uh, I understand how you feel. But you see, maybe what's the case? This is just a change now. That's all. Huh? And besides, uh, being in Portaco would afford me the opportunity to look into our business and start get to know what's going on there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to die there. I'll come back. I'll come back. I'll come back. Anyway, David, just promise me you'll take care of Kate for me. Mom, I will. You, you bother. You worry a lot. Yes. Okay, then. Mommy, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. Take care of yourself. Bye. Take care. Bye. This is my family house. My parents um, used to stay here before they relocated to Lagos. I actually grew up here. Really? Yeah. It's beautiful. Thank you. Let me go sit inside. It's all right. I'll be with you soon. And back up, come, come, come. Who are all these people here? They are all house helps, sir. House helps? Yes, sir. Listen, I don't need any domestic stuff here. Okay? I need privacy with my wife. But, sir, how can you manage? I mean... Listen, I will cope. I said I do not need any domestic stuff here. Is that okay? Okay, sir. I'm good. No problem, sir. Sir, the staff meeting has been scheduled by... I am dead tomorrow morning. Cancel it, okay? Yes, sir. Um, so, listen. Next week, because I need time to settle down, okay? Okay, sir. Good. Ah, that reminds me. Oh, well, we're supposed to be meeting at the hotel this evening at uh, 
Five o'clock. And you told her what the deal is? Not yet. But I hope to make the proposition to her when we see this evening. Oh, come on. Sweetheart, you worry a lot. Hmm? I told you I have all these things worked out. Relax. Honey, thank you very much. Thank you for your understanding. Not many men will do what you're doing. Anything for you, alright? Yeah, come on. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Oh, Marcus, yeah. how are you? Hi, sir. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, just a minute. Mm. And you have to wash it. Take some bread and eggs. No, no, no worry. I'll settle for lunch, okay? Take care of yourself. Mm. Take care of yourself. You too. Alright. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Are you sure you don't need any meat, man? Or one or two servants here? Yeah. Marcus, I told you I don't need anyone. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. See ya. Bye. Okay, time is money. What's your name? You can call me Rose. Rose? Well, I'm David. How much do you make a day? Mm, I make like 2,000. Most times I have the strength. I could make up to 5,000. And um, if you have to spend one whole week with me, how much would that cost me? A week? Oh. That will cost you about, um, say, 20000 What about a month? A month? As in 30 days? I'll cost you about um, uh, see, a hundred and fifty thousand. A hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah. So, well, um, if you have to spend six months with me, how much will that cost? Why exactly are you driving? to spend the whole year with you. That's exactly what I'm driving at. Look, I hope you're not 
you're not joking with me. Because I did not come here for jokes. I actually want you to spend one whole year with me. And I'll pay you five million naira cash. <laughs> Mr. David, you really have a good sense of humor. That's exactly what all my friends tell me. Oh, really? 2.5 billion naira cash now. And the balance of 2.5 billion naira later. How about that? The deal? And what do I have to do to get that kind of money? That's exactly what we'll have to talk about. for me, give me the child, and walk away. Simple. You slept. David, I don't think we should go ahead with the arrangement. What do you mean by that? I thought we both agreed on it. Yes, we agreed. But for God's sake, she's a prostitute. What if she infects you with a venereal disease or even HIV? Anything can happen. There's nothing to worry about. I will make sure she's properly tested. I mean, thoroughly screened. You don't need to worry, okay? Must you sleep with her? I mean, we can do... We can do artificial insemination, everything, or something else, I don't know. Everything has to be done in the lab. All she has to do is just to carry the pregnancy, can't we? When you think I've not thought about that, of course not. I have. I understand your thinking. Okay? But I want you to look at it this way. If we're back on artificial insemination, it's going to involve a lot of people. And then we stand the risk of people getting to know our plans. Better still, there is a possibility of my parents getting to know about it. And I'm sure you don't want them to, do you? I'm asking you, do you want them to know about it? I don't. Good. And they come. I love you, okay? I love you so 
much. Not even this arrangement can change my mind. Okay? It's all right. It's okay. Let's go back to sleep. a question. Oh, please. Go ahead. Why me? Why you? Well, it could have been anyone else. But I chose you. It was best known to me. So, what do you say to my proposition? I want to understand you correctly. You said you want to pay me five million so I could get pregnant for you and then leave the child with you and walk away? Simple. Why? It's a long story. I am very happily married. But my wife had an unfortunate accident. And as a result, I can no longer get pregnant. And we need a child so desperately. And that's where you come in. People are definitely going to see me pregnant. Is your wife going to get pregnant at the same time? Leave that to me. Because I have all that worked out. As soon as you put to bed, I will make a way to fly you out of the country so you can start a new life out there. If this one I man is okay by you, all right? I'll give you three million naira cash today. What do you say to that? Five million, right? Okay. I accept. Good. Very well. You know, first thing first. We will have to undergo a thorough medical checkup. And most importantly, undergo a fertility test. It is very important. Not to worry. I may be a prostitute, but I take very good care of myself. Oh, I understand what you mean, Rose. But you see, you never can be so sure. <laughs> no, whatever, Sha. I, I don't really have a problem with that. Because personally, I need to also be sure of whom I'm dealing with. Oh, no, no, no problem. If that's what you want. I can undergo the same test. I mean, the bottom line is for us to play safe. Okay? Okay, so, um, that's a deal. Good. Deal. 
Ja, so. This is one thousand pounds. Take it. Go do some shopping. Have a change of clothes. Look good. Because you're now mine. And you have to leave out people's expectations. Eh. Thank you very much. Eh? Okay. Uh, so, what am I collecting my money? Oh. As soon as the test is completed. Is there any problem? No, no. Um, anyway, you, you said something about meeting your wife, right? Oh, oh yes. Are, are you ready? Yes, I am. And meanwhile, I have to stop over at my place to pick up my things. Oh, that won't be a problem. Come on. It's time to go home. This is Rose. Rose, my wife Kate. Only a woman can truly understand the pains and emotions of a fellow woman. I just hope I can help in achieving what you want me to. Thank you very much. It's nothing. It takes one with a large heart to do what you've accepted to do. You're welcome to my home. Thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go inside. Sister, lend a helping hand. Sister, sister, fight, understand. 
I hope you enjoy the meal. Ah, I sure did. <laughs> ah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really feeling tired right now. Um, I have to go and rest. Kate, thanks very much for a nice meal. I might enjoy it myself. Okay, I'll leave you people. Good night. Good night. You have to go to her this night. That's the only reason she's here. Okay, you have to do it so we can get it behind us. Maybe some other night, okay? No, not, not today, okay? Please. Well, come on, let's go. Well, do it for me. It's my fate. And I accept it. Please.
What's going on here? Can somebody tell me what is going on here? Okay, I'll tell you. Rose went to the hospital today. Yes. And the doctor said that I am six weeks pregnant. <laughs> Is pregnant again. Confirmed! She just got back from the hospital now. Yes. Oh, Dad. Please tell my precious mother that she'll soon be carrying her grandchild in her hands, okay? Yes, Dad. It's okay, Dad. No, she's fine. She's very fine. All right, Dad, I'll talk to you again. Ah, oh, no. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. The doctor said you're fine? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, no more houseworks, okay? Uh, Kate can take care of every housework. Really? You, 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 you do a lot of rest. Uh, of mm. resting, okay? Mm? Uh, in case you need anything, just don't hesitate to let me know, okay? <laughs> okay. That's good. All right? Excuse me. Misfortune come about. I've always wanted to know. I was seven months pregnant when I fell from the stairs. I lost the baby. Unfortunately, ruptured my womb. Oh dear. God, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I tried so many gynecologists, herbal clinics, but they all confirmed the obvious. It would have been worse if not for David's love and support. Baby, you're carrying is very, very important to us. It is going to cement our marriage. I see. Um, what about um David's parents? I mean, how are they? They are very loving and warm people. Very kind. They never treated me like a daughter in law. They treat me like their own child. Really? Anyway, um, David is a very warm and kind hearted person, so I wouldn't expect his parents to do any less. He is of an only child. He's perfect. So how are you today? Oh, fine. <laughs> Arose, how are you? I'm fine. I see. And how's uh, the baby doing? Oh, the baby is fine. I see. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you happy. Hmm? You have Rose to thank for it. 
Your parents will be very happy. I love you, sweetheart. I love you too. <laughs> Keep stealing my lipstick. Oh, oh. You want some? Oh, yes. Mm. You don't finish it. Mm. You want to get drunk. Oh. <laughs> yes. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Oh, yeah, I can see you guys are getting along very well. Very well. <laughs> <laughs> Upstairs. It's on the third second. It's okay. Okay. I just the time when I pass in the shirt. I need you to come and stay with me tonight in my room. Sleep with you? Why? 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 Because I'm carrying your baby. And I can't stay alone in that room tonight. But, but, but can't you say I'm well with my wife? Eh? All I'm asking is for you to come and stay with me in my room tonight. But you, you've always been on your own all this while. But why, why, oh, but I don't feel like staying there alone tonight. You have to come and stay with me. Oh. 
All right. Go to your room, okay? I'll join you there. Would you lie down? Lie down now. Please go and stay with her. What? Did she go and stay with her? Are you out of your mind or something? Please, do it for me. She holds the ace. She's calling her child, remember? I can't forget this thing. I just lie down and sleep, please. you to come and feel your unborn baby, if you know what I mean. Come. And if I don't want to? Oh dear. I'm not sure you want to stand the risk of losing your father's crown.
Mommy? Daddy? Oh, don't you people have a gate man here? Or, or, or a steward or something? Mommy, you should have, you should have called them to let me know you were coming. To let you know that we are coming to our house? Uh, huh? No, 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 Daddy. I'm Excuse me, where's my daughter? The apple of my eye? Where is she? she she's inside. She's inside. Excuse me. Daddy, I, I, have you paid the... I haven't paid okay. the airport tax. Intend staying for days. Whatever, even if they intend to stay for that long, they may have to check into a hotel. Okay, please. Just Kate? Leave. Yes. Oh, what about what? this? What? This. Stories this time around, though. 
And you should engage the services of a household, at least one. If not for yourself, for, 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 for kids' sake. Mommy, oh. I've heard you now. I'll do that. You've been here all alone, eh? Don't worry. Mommy's here to help, okay? <laughs> um, David, uh, we were actually on our way uh, to the village. Uh, but we decided to stop by for a few days. No, that, that's lovely. That's no problem about that. Well, Daddy, Mommy, I guess we all have to go out for dinner, after which I'll check you into the hotel, um, hotel? where you're going to stay. For what? Why do I have to stay in the hotel when we have a big house like this here? Huh? I was just thinking that you probably will. She's Rose. She's uh, my, no, no, she's Kate's very close friend. Really? <laughs> and the two of them are pregnant at the same time. <laughs> yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yeah, her, her husband is in Switzerland at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Rose, uh, these are my parents. Uh, you're welcome, ma. You're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Nice eh? to meet you, Rose. Uh, same here, ma. Same here. Uh, Rose, what does your husband do? Um, Her husband is um, a petroleum engineer. Oh. He's presently on a nine months course abroad. Really? Yeah, that's why she's here. Yeah. I hope he will be around when you have your baby. Oh, certainly, sir. He will be around. <laughs> you know what? This house is filled with so much blessings. <laughs> Two pregnant women in the same house at the same time. God is awesome, really. <laughs> oh, yes. He really is. <laughs> come, come, come here. Let me bless you. Come. <laughs> come, let me bless you. Thank you, sir. Come on, Kate. Come on. Come on, come on. I, I pray that my ancestors be with you. God Almighty grant you safe and quick delivery. Amen. And that may He make it possible that what you have in your tummies turn out to be boys. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Not all boys. We must have some girls. Yes, too. Yes, that's your head. <laughs> Who is that? You can tell me when I get to it. Any girl, eh? we massage my waist and everything. <laughs> Sit down, please. Sit. Are you okay? Fine. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. And how is my baby kicking? He's fine, yes. Mm -hmm. No pains? Mm -mm. What about morning sickness and dizziness? Do you feel it? Sometimes. Sometimes, eh? Yeah. And the, ooh, your feet are slightly swollen. Wow, you see? You see why I tell you to sit down? Eh? Kate, Kate. You shouldn't overdo these things, you know. Now, listen. From now on, you have to eat everything your body needs. And take a lot of fruits. Okay? Yes, mommy. But not to worry. Mama is here. Eh? <laughs> I will prepare everything that you need. Especially your favorite fellas. <laughs> And now is our wife and daughter doing it. Oh, well, and my grandson and grandfather. It's mine. I have a surprise for you. Huh? 
Yes. Oh, that's it. Don't worry, don't worry. It's okay, it's okay. It's a gift for you and my grandson. A small Honda Jeep. It's packed in Lagos. When you come down, you'll see it. Oh, you deserve it. Oh, my God. Even swollen. Get on, uh, they're slightly swollen. Are you say month? Uh, no, I I think I took in a month before she did. Oh really? You're lucky. Um uh, tell me, Rose, how are your people? I, I mean your family. Um I grew up with a distant relation. I I'm an orphan. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, pity, my dear. Child. You can take this family as your own. Hmm? Really? Thank you very much. You are now our daughter. Okay? Alright? Now, can you two girls come with me to the kitchen? I have prepared something special. Get up, get up. Let's go. Gently does it, one at a time. I don't want you bumping into one another. <laughs> They never stop surprising me. Do you know, the other day, my father-in-law handed me a kit with Honda Jeep. Are you serious? Yes. God, aren't you lucky? I am very, very lucky. You can say that again. are beautiful. It's lovely. Go ahead and pick anyone you like. What? Rose. You brought back happiness into my life. Because of you, I became a cherished daughter in my husband's family. You're now like my sister. And I must share my happiness with you. Go ahead. Take anyone. You mean I should I should take anyone I like? Anyone. Please. Oh God, I can't believe this. This is nice. Thank you. Oh my God. That one is beautiful. Go ahead, take me. I mean to take more. God, look at this. Look at this one. It's pure. They're all gold. So you see that? It's very simple. Oh, thank you so much. It's okay.
and it's nothing. It's, it's just that. You are missing your husband. I will make sure you are here with you. Eh? Look, as you are missing him, he is also missing you wherever he is. And looking forward to the arrival of his baby. I hope so, sir. I know so. You have to believe that wherever he is now, he is. There is nothing else in his mind except you and the pregnancy. Now, Jerem, hmm. that's better. Um, David and Kate will be coming home this weekend for the GOB ceremony. Would you like to come? So, what's that about? Uh, you see, the child Kate is carrying is my grandchild. I will bring her into my OB and present her before the ancestors. Why? Does she do anything wrong? <laughs> no. The ceremony is for me to bless the child before my ancestors, giving everything I have to the child. My wife will also bless the child and the mother. The ceremony now makes the child my heir and my crown prince. <laughs> That makes uh, kids a queen before your kindred, right? Exactly. You can see why we love her and hold her pregnancy in high esteem. See. Are you coming? <laughs> um, sir, please. Um, let me think about it. Um, <laughs> to, uh, I, I need to go and rest my back. I'm, I'm really, really tired. Oh, suit yourself. That was quite loud. So how are you? Hmm? How is the baby doing? Hmm? The baby is doing quite well. Are you alright? I'm okay. I see. Is there something you you need or I mean? Nothing. You sure? I said I'm okay. Alright. And Rose, there's something I, I want you to do for me. What is it? Um, 
I want you to accompany us to the village this weekend for the Chiobi ceremony. Your father has already told me about that. Look, Cleve, this is not part of our agreement, right? I mean, you never told me I was supposed to come meet with your kindred. Yes, 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 I know. I know it's not part of our agreement. But you see, Rose, this is a very important family tradition that must be performed. Please come with me. What am I supposed to be doing there anyway? I'm not your wife. Oh. You want me to come there because I am the one carrying the real pregnancy, right? What are you going to do about the faces? Or are you going to replace my own face with Kate's face? That's exactly what I have in mind. Even there's a way I want to do it. They came by touching my best stomach. Very correct. Traditionally, it's, it's normally done during the day. Uh, but you see, my wife suddenly developed an eye problem. Okay, and ha can hardly stand the sun. Each time she does, she ends up with a severe migraine. And it is not good for her condition. I do not want to take any risk. This is our first pregnancy. Then we postpone it till tomorrow. Ordinarily, that's what we would have done. But you see, her appointment date at the hospital is tomorrow, so we must leave here tomorrow morning. Uh, Ichenduka, let's not keep postponing this thing. Huh? Let's do it. You will be adequately compensated. Hmm? <laughs> we do it, eh? Right. Right. I'll tell you all that. Good. Good. Uh, we'll go and prepare. Uh, yes. Thank you very much, Ichenduka. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 
May the child you bear bring joy and happiness to this family. It shall give you pride and honor before your mates. Your father-in-law is regarded as number one in this kindred. So is your husband. And to follow the child. <laughs> Everything in this compound shall be his inheritance. Yes. Yes. And when this child is born, as the first grand child of Ichie Uzoka, <laughs> we shall kill seven cows. Twenty-one cows. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Thank you very much. Uh, no. Thank you very, very much. Yeah. 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 My daughter, you are very welcome. You shall get whatever you ask of us. You shall be treated like a queen in this kindred. Child, you bear in your womb is my crown prince. Mm. Yes, you shall never do wrong in my presence. <laughs> Everything I own belongs to you and the child. This is the first child you are bearing for us. There will be many others to fill this whole compound. Yes. Yes. My daughter, the day I met you as my son's wife remains my happiest. My joy shall be complete when you eventually put to bed. May long life be your portion and that of this child. May this child be as humble as a lamb. But as wise as a serpent, may he live a long life. May he remember his parents, his grandparents, and take care of them. May he look after his kindred. May he bring peace and prosperity. May he be wise and may he love his people. My daughter, any 
everything you and this child want from me. Provided it is good, though. Ha. I will provide for it. And uh, when I don't have the money, I will go and borrow. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. Anyway, today, you have become my sister, my daughter, and my friend. If I'm my Melania, if I'm my Melania, if I'm my Melania, if I'm my Happiness and prosperity. Say, Mama, may this child bring light to this kindred. Say, may this child be the symbol of this family. Say, may the blessings of ancestors rest well on the children of this child. Say, ah, now ancestors. Bless and guide this child throughout his life. Is it? May this child bring the right hand of the king. Is it? Hey, my dear. Now you have become a full-fledged member of this kindred. Eh? So just give me the honors on time. No, no, listen. No, mommy, no, mommy, she must be very tired. Eh, uh, she should rest, right? Okay. Kate, rest well, oh. If I'm a man, if I'm a man, if honor and dignity with my husband's people. Thank you. It's okay. Don't thank me. I only did what I had to do. You could have still decided not to do it. I'll never forget this. Thank you very much. It's okay.
My marriage, my life depends on this child. I beg you. I'd rather die than give out this baby. have a child of your own at any time. One day you will experience motherhood. But not me. I can't have a child of my own. have set in. Is she okay? How is the baby? We have a situation on hand. We have a very serious problem. What is the problem? Are you next of kin? Or are you related to the lady? No. Yes, I am. Um, the husband is a relative of mine, but he's presently out of the country. What can we do? Why are you asking all these questions? What is the problem? From the trauma of the fall, the fetus was severely compromised and this has led to severe loss of blood. What about the baby? Is the baby okay? Well, the patient has received three blood transfusions already. But she's still bleeding profusely. We we'll need to terminate the pregnancy to save her life. Mm -hmm. Doctor, doctor, please. Do whatever you can to save the baby, please. Don't you understand? She may go into shock. Look, if we don't terminate the pregnancy, she will surely die. Do whatever you can to save her life, mother.
We have to tell your parents the truth. The truth. Do you realize the implications of what you're talking about? Only the child is already dead. We can't go on like this. Maybe that's how God wants it. We have to tell your parents. Do you know what I'm talking about? Huh? Can you imagine a situation where my kids is so good? Go to go to go to. Good news, Mr. Ezekiel. What's good news? Both mother and child survived. It's a miracle. Congratulations. You have a baby boy. Hey, I love you. Hey. Doctor talked about complications. Rose, I've decided to tell my in-laws the truth and face my destiny. But you'll be put to shame. Your marriage will be jeopardized. Why? That's the way God wants it. I can't change it. You had a chance to take the baby while I die. But you choose to save my life and lose the baby instead. Something you sought for so, so desperately. Perhaps I was initially selfish, believing that someone else's child will become mine. But I've come to realize that I'm not meant to taste motherhood. The child could go. Or you will still be alive to have other children. I don't know if I would be able to do the same for you. But one thing I know is that I do not deserve this job. He came for your sake. You are the true mother of this child. Give 
your flight ticket, a passport with a visa to the UK. In here you will find £10,000. It is a bonus in appreciation for what you did for us. Please, accept it here. My greatest happiness is that I know that your son will have the best parent ever. I was once a nobody, a prostitute without a name, without a future, without a family. But he came into my life and you changed my life. You gave me hope. You gave me a name and then, and then you gave me a family. And you and your wife. I have found real friends. Friends for life. Rose, for what you've done for us, we'll never forget you. I personally pray that you find true happiness. And in case you need anything, please, don't hesitate to call on us. Anytime. Anytime. Please. Thank you for everything. Thank you. I pray that someday, that God will give me my own husband. An understanding husband. Like you, you will find me. Thank you. 
Yeah. We couldn't wait though. I said to your daddy, <laughs> we must come here and see our grandchild. <laughs> <laughs> daddy, you're laughing now. You would not tell them how you missed him. Oh. Yeah? Oh. Let me just carry him a bit. Oh. <laughs> He's here. Oh. He is very special. He is. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. Hmm? Junior. Hmm? Hey, I hope you're his... Um, Specifically on a uh, breast milk. Exclusive. Mm -hmm. No, you sure? Mm. You're not giving him any formula? No, I'm not. David. Yes, mommy. Uh, please, we'll monitor how. Sure. Will. No formula for this child. No, mommy. And then you two better keep away. Yes, from baby's food. For at least the next one year. <laughs> you know, David eats too much. He eats eh? too much. Hey, God. Isn't he lovely? By the way, where is Rose? Oh, that's true. What about her? She's uh, abroad. She's... Oh. Yes, yes. Mm. She's in London, yeah. She's gone abroad? Oh, my God. And she didn't even bother to tell us. She left in a hurry. The husband came back from the course and... Oh, and she had to go. Yeah. Oh, that's not nice. But I hope she will keep in touch. Yes. All right. Hey, do you know what I just remembered? You know that day of the naming ceremony? Hey! I danced. I danced and danced. My waist ached and ached that night. Yeah, uh, thanks to daddy. Uh, he was massaging. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I can't get over this baby. I just can't. Eh? Baby. Oh, the wagon. Oh, no, I want my young one. Eh? Daddy. Carry, carry your baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey! Almighty God! Hallowed. Come on and dance with me! Oh. Hallowed be thy name! Almighty God! Hallowed be thy name! I say, Almighty God! Hey. Is it every day mommy comes here? Oh. Almighty God, oh. get that. I say go down. Hey, Almighty God. Come on, come on, go down, my grandma. Oh my, my waist though. Oh, and she's catching up. Are you a content creator? Do you have a YouTube channel? Want to monetize, promote, and protect your channel from intellectual property theft? At Aforevel, we will monetize, optimize, and protect your channel, helping you earn better. We also offer you professional content management support guidance. Join our network today and enjoy our premium benefits. Contact us at mcnataforevel.com.